I'd like you to meet Mateo. Mateo's ID number is A519-5310. Mateo is a male, brindle and white. Uh, we think American Bulldog and Pitbull mix. He is two years old. He show, came in. Show your best side. He came show in to the shelter as a stray on June 30th from Covina, and he weighs 64 pounds. And he and he's a solid 64 pounds. Uh, Laura, what else do you want to say about this great guy? Yeah, he's. I mean, he definitely. He, he's a he's a 64 pounder that hello. He's a big baby. He's a big baby. <laughs> he throws his 64 pounds around a little bit. So uh, we recommend that he. Uh, you know, whoever gets him um, has it, it's best if he goes with somebody who has uh, large dog experience, um, but and, you know, and also a family that um, probably best in a family with uh, older kids or um, adults only, um, simply because he's kind of big and. I don't think he realizes that he's not eight weeks old anymore. Um, I took him out in the play yard. He knows Sid. I mean, he's just like Johnny on the spot with that. Um, but pulls on leash a little bit, but I think he, he you know, he's he's going to be uh, a dog that responds to training um, quite well. He was improving even even in the short time that I had him out. Yeah, I mean, um, he's only two years old, so he's, only, he's a young yeah, guy. He's only two years old, and like yeah. I was saying to you before we started rolling the camera, I think, you know, in the, in the equivalency of in humans, I think he's kind of like, uh, you know, he, he's good at, well, to back it up, he's, I think what he really needs is um, boundaries and structure and training and socialization. Get those four things going on, you're going to have an awesome dog here. Um, but he does need, you know, he, he is going to need that stuff. I don't think that he had a whole lot of, uh, of boundaries or anything in his previous life. He's, he's a good boy, but I don't think that he ever got taught the rules of, you know, what it is to, you know, what it is to be a good boy in, in a family. So, uh, that said, come on down to meet this guy. He's, he's, <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, he, he, he's a big love. If people put the time in and Except, give him yeah. the training, this is going to be a fabulous dog. I mean, yeah. he really is. I mean, he's, he's been very cooperative with Lore. Lore's been working with him at the shelter. So, you know, please come down and meet him. This is Mateo, ID number A, 519-5310. One more thing that I, I forgot to mention earlier is, I, we, you know, I, I would really recommend group training for this dog. I think that this is going to, that would be a very key thing for a successful integration with your family because not only are you going to get the obedience training in, the group socialization is going to give them that additional socialization with other animals, with other dogs. Um, in play groups he was trying to be a little bit dominant with the other dogs and um, you know that was kind of, it wasn't out of an aggression thing, it's more out of a young dog thing. So um, he does need some more, some a little, a little additional socialization to learn the, the doggy rules of engagement. Um, and I think that uh, an obedience class with other dogs, you know, oh, yeah. will be a great way to get that. You know, if you put the time and effort in, this is going to be. He's going to be an amazing. He, it's going to be amazing. Is. Yeah, he really is. He's got all. He's got all the the basics. He just needs a little help along the way, but I mean, he's absolutely fabulous. So please come down and meet Mateo at the Baldwin Park Shelter. Bye, Mateo.